right in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create something like this not the chair but just the cloth the blanket or whatever you want to call it that's folded over top of the back of the chair and I'll show you an easy way to go about this and this is what it looks like when it's in uh, rendered view and in my opinion it doesn't look real bad it, it has some room for imp for improvement but not that bad considering how easy it is to make all right let's go ahead and let me go ahead and show you how to go about doing that all right <clears throat> I have another chair up here no nothing no cloth or anything over top of it so let's go ahead and create the cloth and we're going to be using the cloth simulator so in this case we want to go ahead and select a chair because we want this cloth to fall over top of the chair so we're going to select the chair go over here to the physics tab and then click on collision and then go ahead and go down here to the soft body and cloth settings and just go ahead and turn the dampening all the way up and then turn the friction basically up to something high and the only reason why we're doing that is because we don't want the cloth to bounce off and we don't want the cloth to slide off all right now let's go ahead and create the cloth itself so we're gonna start off with a plane add mesh and then a plane and we're gonna just kinda drag it over top of the uh, chair <clears throat> go ahead and go to the top side of view and just you know grab it move it over the chair now I'm gonna go ahead and scale this up I'm gonna scale it up on the x-axis S for scale X for the x-axis and that's about how long we want the cloth to be <clears throat> now we're gonna scale it on the y-axis S for scale and then Y for the y-axis now how big we make this is sort of we have to kind of use our imagination to a degree like with this if we look at this cloth we can see that it's folded over about five times so we want the length of the cloth to be about five times what it is you know folded <clears throat> so let's uh, say we want this about five times wider than this so press s for scale y-axis and then just say five and press enter all right now what we want to do is go back to front side view so we can see it this way and then rotate the cloth on the x-axis rotate x 90 so it's vertical and then just grab it on the z-axis and move it up above the chair and then before we go any further just go ahead and double check that it's over top the chair where you want it to land all right go back to front side view and over here <clears throat> click on go to this menu and if this menu isn't showing you can press in to toggle in and out go to item and then make sure all the scales are uh, set to one essentially which means you since these are not showing one you need to apply the scale control a and then it brings up this menu click scale <clears throat> and now the scale is, is applied and the reason why we need to do that is because when we're dealing with physics objects sometimes it does weird things and glitches out that may not be the case this time but sometimes that's what happens all right now we need to add some subdivisions to this plane so that it will act like a cloth so with the plane selected press tab to go into edit mode and then come up here to edge and choose subdivide all right and then just turn this up to about 25 25 should be about right all right now what you want to do is uh, take you want to create the folds of this cloth so what we need to do is go ahead and put this on <coughs> excuse me put it on the edge select 
and then choose about let me go ahead and deselect everything we want to choose some folds the areas we intend this cloth to be folded so I want this to be folded across right here so we right click to select or rather we press hold down the alternate key and then right click to select and then we want another fold to be let's say about right here and then we hold shift down while holding alt down and then right click to select that now go over here to side view and then put this on uh, let's say smooth would probably work and then just basically turn on proportional editing and then press G for grab and then just you may need to adjust the size of this and just bring it out to about like something like that all right and see now you kind of got fo your folds like you want now press tab to exit edit mode go ahead and go to top view and you see you do need to recenter this so grab it move it back into the center location now if we want the folds to line up perfectly essentially we can go ahead and drop it now and let the folds do their thing but if we want the folds to kind of be offset a little bit not be so perfectly folded we want to you know kind of rotate this on the x-axis just a little bit rotate x and just a little bit that way it's not falling straight down <clears throat> and then we may need to grab this move it over just a hair all right now with this cloth selected come over here to the physics tab click on cloth and you can pretty much keep everything all the settings the same except for one thing you need to come down here to collisions turn this up to about five and then turn on self collision and then that's pretty much it now you can go ahead and press play let it fall and then just let it go till it's the position you like let's say that that works all right now you could probably do a better job I'm kind of doing this quick and talking at the same time but you kind of get the idea now if you want to keep this cloth in this position we'll just come go ahead and come over here to the modifiers tab and right here this is your cloth modifier that is currently applied to the uh, plane if we click apply it basically converts this from a dynamic cloth to just an object and basically we use the dynamic cloth to sculpt it essentially because see right now I can go back to the beginning and it's just a cloth it's just a sculpted piece of material all right now we can uh, uh, Go, go over here to the modifiers tab add modifier choose solidify and we can need to zoom in just a little bit so we can see what's going on we want to add just a little bit of thickness to this not a whole lot try the other direction that, yeah, that looks better that go in that direction you know it doesn't have to be perfect now we can click apply if we want to we don't have to and then come up here to, or rather we need to go ahead and do this too add modifier and choose subdivision surface and this right here just smooth it out make it look a little bit better and we can come up here to object shade smooth to make it look even better now we can apply a material to it now 
I'm not going to go through and explain the whole node uh, issue, like I, how I created this material, but I will show you the node setup. I'm terrible at explaining how to create materials with nodes. I'm starting to understand it better. But here's the um, node layout for this material, just in case you're interested. And that's what this one looks like. And what material is that? Uh, I, for some reason, I, I called it ground brown. I don't, I don't know why I called it that color. Um, but anyway, let me go ahead and apply that same material to this one. That way you can see what it looks like. And see, it don't look half bad, not really. To be as simple as it is, because there is no way you're going to be able to sculpt that, or at least there's no way I could sculpt that in the amount of time it takes me to do this without talking. But anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Guess that's it. Later, people.